folks. July 4th, MLS Gambling Podcast. Here we go. Just me right now. Got a couple of games for the 4th of July. Happy America Day. However you are out celebrating, hopefully you're celebrating safely, uh, but having a good time. Uh, 4th of July is on Tuesday, uh, but we are rolling along with MLS. Uh, got about four games for you on the 4th of July. Uh, we'll probably save the Wednesday, uh, July 5th game for some Twitter plays, but let's jump right into it. Uh, Inter Miami hosting the Columbus crew. Inter Miami, of course, big news. Messi, Busquets coming. coming. They also hired uh, Tata Martinez, the former, uh, I believe, Barcelona manager, as well as Mexico head boss. Uh, but, man, Miami's struggling. Haven't won in their last eight. Seven straight losses. They've allowed a goal in 17 straight. Uh, they're really not hitting over two and a half at home. However, the Columbus crew are a team that is on fire. Sorry, Chicago. Uh, won five of their last six and undefeated in their last six. They've also scored in nine of 10 on the road, but have also conceded nine of 10 on the road. So both teams to score is the way to go here. However, right now the books have it at minus 170, way too high. I uh, would, not, would not place any money on that unless you want to go with both teams to score in over two and a half, which I also wouldn't do just because Miami may not score. I, I think Columbus should be favored in this one. Um, Columbus, a, a road favorite, which you do not see often. Uh, really the only team that seems to be road favorites, you know, I would say in the past two years, Philly, uh, LAFC consistently. Now since he's, I think, you know, kind of getting in there. Um, I'm back in Columbus on the draw no bet line. Uh, Columbus draw no bet uh, at about minus 140. I think it's a great play. Um, you know, you never know how they'll perform on the road. Uh, they have two wins out of 10 on the road, so at least you're covering some some push protection there. Uh, next up, we got another uh, Floridian team, Orlando City hosting Toronto. Orlando uh, just beat Chicago 3-1 at home. Uh, Toronto have not won on the road. No wins in their last six. They've lost the last three. Second fewest goals scored at 0.86 per match. Toronto probably should have just kept Bob Bradley. Who are we kidding, right? Uh, they failed to score in just about half of their matches. They've also failed to win uh, their last 10, like I said, 0, 4, and 6. Uh, Orlando has scored in seven straight at home. Three straight at home have seen their team total hit over one and a half. Uh, however, though, they're scoring more on the road than at home, which is a bit concerning, but I don't think they'll have any problems here with Toronto. Uh, I like Orlando uh, double chance and under three and a half. Um, Orlando, you know, like I said, scoring more on the road than at home. That worries me a little bit about uh, the, the money line play. So I like double chance and under three and a half. Toronto's games typically haven't gone over this season. They failed to score, like I said, in over uh, about half their matches. They've only hit over two and a half in seven of 21. So, uh, I, you know, even if we get to three, that's fine. We still get that Orlando double chance and under three and a half at minus 135. Uh, now we head to Dallas, where Dallas hosts DC United. Uh, Dallas just beat LAFC 2 0 at home. They're riding hot. Uh, DC lost to Nashville 2 0 on the road. Not a bad loss. Uh, Nashville, you know, expects to win. That's probably the most typical scoreline for Nashville uh, since they've become a franchise is either the one nothing or 2 nothing victory at home. Um, but D.C. has lost their last three of four. Seven of the last eight, though, have hit over two and a half. Dallas, though, doesn't have games that, you know, are high scoring. However, you do see, you do tend to see a lot of uh, both teams to score, hitting at about 70% at home. Uh, Dallas has scored in nine of nine of ten at home, but they've also conceded in eight of ten at home. Ninety um, percent of Dallas's home games, which is nine of ten uh, this season, have gone under three and a half. So I like Dallas double chance and under three and a half. We're bringing back some double chances, some midweek, so we'll probably have some rotational changes in these lineups. Back some draws, back some unders. Uh, next up is. You know, ironically, a, uh, a a match that is taking place not too far from me. The Rapids hosting Portland. Uh, the Rapids two eight and ten on the season, zero five and four at home. Portland uh, one four and six on the road. Two terrible teams. Uh, I'm I'm gonna have to pass. We're not betting this game. It's not worth it. Colorado hasn't won at home. Portland has one win on the road. 
you know, maybe, you know, a quarter unit on the draw if you're feeling adventurous uh, or some unders. I, I really, you know, think this is a crapshoot when you're looking at the Rapids, how bad they are. Um, but they've also have it won, so you you know they'll be eyeing for their first victory. And then Portland, you know, Portland's not going to, yeah, you know, if Portland's going to win another road game, it's probably going to be this one uh, against the Rapids. So uh, that's kind of why I chose to pass. And then the final one, which I think is super intriguing, we have LA Galaxy hosting LAFC El Trafico. Uh, the Galaxy, 2-2-4 two, two and four at home. Uh, they just drew 2-2 two, two, two at San Jose, and they've drawn their last four, scored in 7-8 of eight at home, also conceded 7-8. and eight. So both teams will score, hitting at about 75% uh, at home, which I guess would be 6-8. and eight. Uh, LAFC, though, lost 2 nothing at Dallas. They've lost four of their last six. When these two teams play, right, El Trafico, goals are scored. Typically, goals are scored. You don't see 0-0. You don't see one nothing games. If there were a year for that to happen, it might be this year. LAFC are, are really, you know, struggling trying to find just three points wherever they can get them, home and away. It seems like they've really struggled on the road. Um, three, three, and three on the road. I think this is the perfect time for them to turn their season around uh, and really, you know, put the pedal to the metal uh, atop the Western Conference. I'm, I'm taking a risk and going with the LA Galaxy, draw no bet, at plus 150. You know, the Galaxy haven't lost in their past four. They haven't won, they've drawn, but I, I do like the Galaxy's chances. Uh, I think, you know, they're they're probably sick and tired of how LAFC, you know, gets all the fame and gets all the uh, the glory with, uh, you know, their, their MLS Cup title uh, and then some CONCACAF Champions League uh, success there. So that wraps up the 4th of July. Uh, just four, four games for you. Four, I believe, maybe five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five, five matches. Uh, we only gave out plays for four. Uh, the July 5th New York City FC Charlotte match. Uh, we'll, we'll put out on uh, on Twitter, so so keep your eyes out for that. But other than that, you know, my name is Ty Roder, T Rods Ten Nineteen on Twitter at MLS SGPN. Also on Twitter, got lots of good stuff. And uh, yeah, for those of you who are looking for that uh, Atlanta Philly uh, correct score for the coffee mug, that'll be out on our next video. So stay tuned. Adios. Stay safe, folks.